Hi, this is Haley Thomas with PetraSkills, and I'm here with instructor Dave Muter, and we're going to talk about seismic velocities and depth conversions. Dave, where is this course usually taught, and how many days does it run? Okay, seismic velocities and depth conversion is a five-day course, and it's taught around the world. I usually teach it in Houston, London, Dubai, Kuala Lumpur. The class is also taught with uh, in-house to various companies in their offices. And I've taught in Oman, uh, Muscat, Oman this year, as well as uh, I'll be teaching in Baku, in uh, Houston, and Jakarta. Great. What are some of the course topics that are covered? This is a basic class. So it starts from um, the core principles and works up from there. So we have um, starting off uh, with terminology because it can be very confusing. The different types of velocities that are uh, out there are P wave and shear wave velocities, average interval and instantaneous velocities, RMS velocities, uh, NMO, stacking velocities, different types of migration, pre-stack and post-stack, um, Dick's equation velocities, as well as others. So we need to get that basics down. And uh, then we move on to how we acquire the data that is used for velocities. So we have a lot of um, different information that we have to calibrate and coordinate to make a good velocity model. So we, um, part of that is the uh, seismic, uh, creating synthetic seismograms and then uh, matching the seismic data. And this can calibrate the seismic data. Uh, we also go into having all of the people attending the course actually use uh, processing software that will um, so that they pick the velocities and understand the problems that we can have picking um, uh, velocities and what the processor has to go through. So that leads on to migration velocities or migration algorithms that have um, increased in their um, complexity and their uh, power in the last 10 years. Amazing um, increase in the the ability for the um, for us to get better velocities. With that, though, comes that we have to be able to calibrate to our well control, and that's our last couple days: is making velocity models, seeing how the uh, software, um, starting with Excel spreadsheets all the way up to more sophisticated 3D visualization software. Um, works to create these velocity models. Great. And of those topics, is there anything that is ever surprising to any of the participants? I think they are uh, surprised that, um, or some are surprised that the processing velocities, the seismic velocities, are not the best. Uh, the processor spent a lot of time creating them, but they create velocities that are best for imaging the data, not for creating the best time to depth conversion. So often you have to um, calibrate the velocity. So this is a big part of the class. Okay, um, as a geoscientist, why would I want to take this course and how would it help me further my career? We know that our seismic data is acquired in time. That's the echo, the time it takes for the echo to get down and reflect back up from our subsurface horizons. We need a velocity model to convert that to depth. So the, the knowledge of how that is created and what is um, involved in creating a good velocity model that integrates all of our input data uh, is Im important for all interpreters, processors, whatever type of geoscientist you are to understand. Great. Thank you so much, Dave. Sure.